Well, here we go. These are the uh, the happy new owners of the wheelbarrow boat, and we are we are the, we are in the southern state on the east coast of the United States of America, and this this is the summer of uh, or the spring of uh, 223, and I'm quite happy to be here because there's a, an expected blizzard in my hometown tomorrow. Hopefully, it'll be warm enough up there so I land in the middle of a rainstorm and I just have to. Get a squeegee to clean the sidewalk off rather than a shovel. But they've done a great job uh, refurbishing the boat. As you can see, there's a nice paint job on the exterior, on the interior, and uh, we we say with this life, there's hope. So every pun intended. And uh, here we go again. Oh yes, great. I remembered how to record. Oh, we got some new handles for the wheelbarrow boat right here. Did a nice job in it. Yeah. Original handles, they look really good. I'm gonna, I gotta. Here's the handles refurbished. They look beautiful, as you can see. And uh, these oil locks. Brass fittings and all refurbished and um, white, oak. white oak. So this is, uh, she's really getting gussied up. She's going to be the pride of uh, yeah. wherever she sails. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what it is. It's two pieces. You got one piece here and the seam down here. Yeah. Down here. Um, I guess it would be yellow pine. No? It's pine or it's ash? Yeah, I said, I was telling her, I said, we got a road on both sides, so I can admit and sail wherever I end up, I just do Looking good. Here we are, uh, this is the, uh, the new uh, wheel for the wheelbarrow boat. Looks really good. Extra, extra sturdy. Should have a long life. I was a cop, so I threw him in the slaver, so I don't want to... Custom made these steel plates for the axle, not the hub, but the insert where the rod goes through. There'll be a washer on this, so the rod cannot come out. It'll stop right there. Uh -huh. There'll be one on each side. I'll mount one first over here that's already welded and put together. Put the second one in over here, already welded. Basically, first one will be in place. This one will go down over top and then be screwed into here. And then your wheel will turn appropriately in the right place. So you can transport this in and out of the water. And then back behind the wheel for aerodynamics to keep the, the boat from skipping across the water. Uh, Mike added this here to, to the bottom of the boat. Uh -huh. For improved, uh, I guess I'm not aerodynamics, but uh, uh, improved uh, tracking through the water. As you can see, we have one on the front and we have one on the back also. So, uh, with those minor, that minor improvement with that wheel and this new piece on here, which I think somebody might have called it a scab. Skeg. A skeg. Um, Could be, yeah. Then, uh, uh, we're looking forward to it not skipping across the water or sliding, skidding, uh, whatever the terminology is. I'm new to the boat world as far as sailboats, so I'm. This is all a lesson to me. The fiberglass here, it's been fiberglass before. You have little indentations where the wood, uh, the plywood, is pieces have come out. You might say. Yeah, laminating. Fiberglass that, sand this all down, make it perfectly smooth. Uh, then we'll put some bottom paint on it, probably three coats, uh, get the wheel mounted, and we will be ready to sail. Awesome.